Hello my crafty friends, I'm back today with another video and this is going to show you how to create the top drawer, top flip drawer box. <laughs> I always mess up a name. Um, this is a die by Scrap Diva Designs and it's a really unique die. It just creates a drawer with a hidden box that can also be like a shadow box on the inside or you can fill it with embellishments if you want to. And I'm just going to show you how to put it together. So I did all of my die cutting off camera just to save some time. And here I'm just assembling the main box um, of the drawer, no, top, top flip drawer box. <laughs> oh my God. Um, so it's super easy to assemble. You basically just create a box and you get extra, extra flaps for each side which is great to make it um, it makes it a little bit um, stronger and sturdier so I'm just assembling those sides here and then I'm going to glue down those flaps and I'm using liquid glue because I like how fast it dries especially this one this is by Nuvo it's the deluxe adhesive it's my liquid glue of choice. I'd really like to try out um, Barely Art Glue. Everyone seems to be loving it, um, but I can't get it here. So one day I'll give that a try. But for now I'm using this one. And I'm also using my bone folder to make sure that all of the corners are properly adhered down to the cardstock, just to make, su make sure it doesn't fall apart. And um, the cardstock I'm using here is Basil. It's a really um, textured cardstock and it's super um, heavyweight, which is great, especially for 3D projects. And this bit I'm assembling now is like a hidden, it's like a hidden little box. You can put some kind of embellishments in there, which I think is really cool. Um, so that goes on the inside and once that's done I will assemble the top bit like kind of like the sleeve that goes on the outside of this box um, so I actually had to look at my previous one I created because I kind of forgot how I assembled this but it's it's actually super easy and all of these dies uh, in the set, as you saw at the beginning, I think it's like the biggest die set I've ever received. There are so many dies because you get layering pieces for everything as well. So you get the base, you get all the layering pieces, and they all have a stitching detail, which is really cool. So, you know, you don't have to do any stitching if you don't want to. And so this is the final little piece that I'm that I'm assembling to the base and then we can make it pretty and decorate it which is always my favorite part um, yeah what am I doing here so I'm just checking to see if it closes and it does so this paper I used is from Round Trip by Maggie Holmes it's from the 12 by 12 paper part and I thought this kind of mustard color would go really well with that pink card base I used. So I'm just gluing all of these pieces on top of the drawer box, drawer top flip box. I am slowly running out of my favorite pieces from this collection. Does this happen to you as well? Like you use your favorite pieces, you buy doubles and triples because you don't want to run out of it, but then towards the end you just have I don't know like random papers that you would normally not use so I feel like I'm reaching that point with the collection which is bad because I actually bought a second paper pad because I loved it so much and I thought I think I need two paper pads but now I have so much paper left for this collection and like not too many embellishments so yeah, and I also need a break from it because I've been crafting with it quite a bit. Um, and I know at this time um, the newest collection is out, Parasol, but I'm actually going to skip it this year. I know, I feel like I'm going to regret it, but I have so many paper collections. And also I have already purchased 
Garden Shop by Paige Evans because it's so beautiful. And I also really, really want um, Stardust by um, Jen Hatfield. It kind of reminds me of a mix of She's Magic by Dear Lizzie and All Heart. I don't know. I just think it looks so cool. Um, so right now I'm cutting little slits. I'm trying not to cut my fingers. Um, and luckily I did not. Um, for this little drawer handle. And I got it from AliExpress. I'll have it linked down below if I remember. Um, but it's like the perfect little drawer pull for this little box. Like you could use a brad. But I just really like these little drawer handles. They're so cute. And to make this a little bit more special, I decided to use a shaker. This um, rectangle I I used, I, I die cut it out of um, gold, um, gold metallic cardstock. And I used the Essentials 2 die set from Scrap Deeper Designs. I'll also link that down below. But you get some shapes and I have a bit of an um, embossed detail around the edges, which uh, makes it look so pretty. And I just I teared it down on some acetate. And now I'm using my favorite one eighth of an inch um, double sided foam tape from scrapbook.com to turn this into a shaker. The sequins I use are from my friend Rachel from um, her shop. Um, she also has a sequin subscription, which are amazing if you just want to have new sequin mixes every month. So I'm just gonna adhere it down. And I did use some liquid glue on top of my foam, um, double-sided foam, just to make sure that it's properly adhered down and that my sequins won't escape in the future. So I like to be extra careful with that. And now it's the fun bit, it's embellishing, and you can see I've used up a lot of pieces already, and I feel like I've used up my favorite pieces. So now I'm just kind of left with leftovers. Um, so I'm just trying to, you know, make it work somehow. I picked up this really pretty pink, um, not pink, it's yellow. It's a yellow flower from the chipboard piece. And I think it looks really cool in that corner. So I'm using that, using this little label with a little bit of gold thread behind it, because why not? And I always do it, so I had to. And I'm just going to layer it on the back. And I'm looking for something else. I feel like there's something missing, like another little label so i'm just going through the sticker book and i found these really cool black arrows that just look really nice um tucked behind the flower and i'm using this title together and a couple of pieces of foam tape on the left hand side to make sure it's the same height as the chipboard piece because it's quite you know quite a chunky piece so i just want to make sure it's it's all even and then I feel like there's something else missing and I can't figure out what it is. So I'm just going through um, through all of the embellishments. I found a butterfly which looks really cute in that corner. But there, there's just something missing. So I decided to go through my word stickers and um, see what I can add. So first I looked at this thickest sheet but there wasn't anything I liked. So I'm going to get back to it, don't worry. Adding some bling to it because I can't ever have a project without some kind of enamel dots, um, bling stickers or Nouveau drops. It's always one of those. But recently I've been, I've kind of rediscovered these Tim Holtz word or like sentiment stickers. I had these in my stash forever and I kind of forgot about them and yeah, I'm back to loving them. This is the final project, the final um, look at this cute little drawer top flip box, top flip drawer box. Oh my god, I almost messed it up. But I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, give it a thumbs up if you did. Check out my Patreon if you want to see more videos. And I will see you all very, very soon. Bye!